where do we begin to behold the glory of how much we love an unrestored space age spectacular survivor class well world-class national treasure this is the picasso of plymouths rare 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 this absolutely has to be one of the if not the finest low mileage unrestored survivor class 1961 plymouth theories on the planet it is absolutely as nice as you could possibly hope to find a survivor class car you do not find them like this gorgeous paint the interior is beautiful the chrome is outstanding the details are amazing and clean and this car is in spectacular condition gotta love those torsion bars going around that corner like that only a Chrysler product can do that. It's nimble, it's quick, it's sassy, it's classy, and it's got style. The style of the 61 Plymouth is so remarkable. It really is the Picasso of Plymouths. Very avant-garde, very unexpected, very fashion forward unlike anything that had ever come before it. Extraordinary by any standards, the flamboyant front-end design puts the 1961 Plymouth into a class of out-of-this-world space-age styling all by itself. No other car of its time had a front-end as extreme and expressive as this. And we're loving Plymouth spelled out in your favorite lesbian aunt's handwriting. How about that slanted grille, the center bumper detail, and the power of those flared fenders? Fury, there it says it right there. Make no mistake about it, this car puts the Fury in furious. I love the back end, the way it's scooped out like that, the styling and those tail lights are so space age. Again, Plymouth, the backup lights, look how nice everything is on this car. That aluminum panel is virtually flawless. This little bit of emblem there is absolutely, well, it's remarkably preserved, just like the rest of the car. And look at the rear end of the car there. Incredible. I love the roof line. I love that taper on the trunk lid. That whole wrap around back end is just amazing. This car, the design is so cohesive. There is a brushed aluminum fill there in the stainless trim. That pop metal doesn't have even a piddle on it. Neither do the door handles. I cannot believe how nice this car is. The headliner, gorgeous. The original upholstery, absolutely amazing. Look closely and you can see the Plymouth Rocket embossed in the white vinyl there. It's also on the front seat back as well. An original interior is always a huge plus for me on a car, and they are rare, and to find one as well-preserved as this one is extra rare. I love the Plymouth logo on the horn ring, the steering wheel, always the first thing I look at, and it's in excellent condition, absolutely beautiful. Look at the shine on that dash. Even the visors look new. I cannot believe how nice this car is. So many details. I'm going to show you a few more. Rare, rare, rare to find the original wind lace. And how do you like those ivory push buttons to control the torque flight transmission? That clock is so mid-century modern. The vent and heater control. I love more push buttons. In iridescent ivory plastic, no less. The radio says Plymouth on it. Look at those turned knobs. Again, the plastic. This beautiful trim, the aluminum trim with the Plymouth logo runs all the way across the dash. And of course, the speedometer housing sits up on top and it is pure outer space. One more look at the interior here. I know you want to see all the details. The door panels could not be nicer. Unbelievable. I love original door panels, and these are absolutely beautiful, all four of them. But wait, there's more. I don't know why all of a sudden I'm craving an ice cream sandwich. That's what these door panels remind me of. 
Another little peek inside, and the dome light. That'll light up your life. And so will the last door panel. Yes, all four of them, absolutely beautiful. And I wanted you to get another view of that incredible out-of-this-world instrument cluster. Again, the trim on the dash. I just can't get enough of that. This car is so beautifully appointed. And oh, Mopar mats, too. I've never seen those before. Under the hood, you will find a 318 paired with a torque flight push-button transmission, providing plenty of peppy power. And of course you want to see the Jiffy Jet bag and the original upholstery and the original keys. I cannot stress to you enough how rare, how special, how unique, and how spectacular this one-of-a-kind 1961 Plymouth Fury, the Picasso of Plymouths, is. And it is available for purchase. For more information, go to charlesphoenix.com.